Good afternoon. Mm -hmm. uh, this part two for the Sila Vinaya. Uh, there is the the saying that uh, in all the school of Vinaya translate into Chinese, we have five schools. It can only uh, very few or minor different. Mostly it's the same translation and same writing. Uh, the Telavadin, they have one school uh, uh, right in there. And we compare to what the Chinese have and Tibetan have, they, uh, they're almost there. The Tibetan uh, Vinaya is the same as the Chinese one uh, right in there. Mm. This tells us that Sutra have many different uh, conditions to keep teaching. But when we talk about how to guide the uh, uh, verbal and guide the body in uh, what we can study and we can learn, put it into training. There's only one set of training skill for the mind, uh, no, for the uh, uh, verbal and for the bodily action. This is called Sila Vinaya. So as what you say when the Buddha himself, uh, when he uh, starting uh, this Vinaya, they, they didn't have much to, to uh, uh, analyze right now. But right now I quote two of the great uh, recent master. One is Master Sun Yan. Then uh, he, he, he is someone that uh, take many years uh, uh, into the I saw select retreat and do this uh, uh, investigation of the Vinaya, so have a good writing in uh, uh, the modern language. And another quote is quote from the uh, early Buddhism and his uh, development from Master Inshun and and the. Uh, uh, the very uh, primary resources of uh, Vinaya and uh, uh, Sutra in his writing. That is the second part I quote uh, in here, not been translated uh, most of the teaching into uh, English. But, uh, we have this, uh, sm the small dictionary there, and then we have the big dictionary there. If someone uh, <laughs> needs uh, some guide of the, the understanding, then you can get that to the scenario and uh, turn it to the page, then you, are, you can get it. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, uh, here is something that I uh, very really briefly tell what is the uh, Vinaya, put it into order. Like here, uh, from starting points of having faith in Buddhism, uh, come into learning, study what is going on. So this, the practicing of teaching, come to your mind, then you think, oh, I am agree of this. So you take refuge. Yeah, to be stuck. Connected to Buddhism. So the second part is uh, 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 here. Master Sun Yen say you have a passport. You have the passport for uh, uh, entering the human and to the heaven beings. So five precepts and ten virtue is the passport. What it means here? It means that uh, you don't uh, get into trouble of uh, this uh, regret uh, uh, with this uh, troublesome harm each other. 
even those uh, do more into this, uh, make your mind excited, make your mind depressed, uh, make your mind into confused, make your mind into what we call that uh, ignorance. Or uh, if the word is uh, extreme, we say, make yourself stupid. Let me say one thing. You will know what is the stupid mean. You know, once I, I, I stay in uh, New York before coming to this uh, location. So that is, uh, I remember maybe 1992 or 93, like that. Yeah, I still travel around uh, to uh, fashion teaching and back to Bronx, New York, you know, Madden. We need to pass Madden to, to Madden uh, and then uh, go to, uh, yeah, go, go to the fashion and then uh, back there and then uh, come back to 231st Street, Bronx in that time. So use the subway a lot. In the winter time, you know the homeless is uh, getting into the subway station, you know, and, and they will stay in the subway inside because of warm. They need warm, you know. So you, you go in underground, they stay there, and then they stay in the subway station. Uh, they go into the subway. Yeah, people will sometimes just need to keep him space because uh, he is. Good smell. Never dig bath. Some alcohol uh, personality is, uh, uh, you don't know how, how tough this body is. So he had been get used, people will keep him space and move away from him. So he, once he enter into subway, he just come to you. And then you go, you, you go away, he just pass a little bit, pass a little bit, and then have enough space, he just lie down in somewhere. Uh, uh, chair. So one day when he doing this, I, I just stay there, you know. He got at least one, two, three, it come close to me. I just, mm, coming, I narrow my, <laughs> My breathing in the very narrow, be concentrated in the deep mind control. He pushing, coming, coming. The smell is like, like the energy force come to me. I need to go very deep. Then he come and see, why not moving away? And so he deep coming, touching to my body. It's still not moving. What is this guy mean? He's just coming. Then... Suddenly, he, he knows something. Oh, might be this. Not the one who can push away. So he backward again, <laughs> back there. Yeah, this is what I've been, you know, challenged by this uh, homeless, you know. So homeless is uh, some kind of uh, uh, what we call that he, he is not broom himself into that kind of uh, big aggra aggressive uh, ego, but he is uh, what we call that depressed, little bit zibei. What is that? Yeah, lo low conceit, self conceit. Yeah, someone is uh, like like we, we a leader is big, self conceit. He is very low, but he still have self conceit. He want to try, you know. Uh, he he have ego there. He want space, so he moved you away. So the, once I, I got that, I don't I don't let you, you know, sp expand your ego. So he just retreat back. So that I see this, I I tell myself, yeah, this is stupid. You know, he don't know how to take care of himself so as a human body, but uh, have the uh, uh, animal nature, uncivilized. It's not this country, not give him a chance, 
not take him here well, no choice for him, but it's his mind that cannot find a way out. He cannot see what he can do better. This is called ignorance. I don't know I put it that was a, a, a proper or not, but for me, myself, uh, psychologically is something that uh, make you higher room, make you lower room. Is it that way? I think is that you, you value yourself. Nobody make judge better than you yourself, isn't it? So he make a wrong judge for knowing a, a more, more better way to go. He make wrong judge for himself. So here is because of uh, this uh, uh, understanding in Indian, he talk about in Buddhism, other religion talk about human and heaven is good quality in the common. So heaven is better choice and more lucky than human in census contact, uh, in the material support, and in uh, friendship support is more uh, happiness and joyful than human being. Heaven being, they don't fight to each other. They fight for peace, fight for uh, calmness and cold. Cold? C O O L? Yeah, cold, like uh, that. So, heaven being, they have a different heaven state. You know, some is very deep in China. Yeah, all concentration. So their mindful is more peaceful, their love is more open and great, like that. So human being is sometimes is the lower little bit. So human beings still fight for this and their competition for this and that. That is called human mind state. But they don't fight in the uh, extreme negative way. If we find for uh, 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 doing action in the extreme negative way, that means that in Indian they call lower realms mind state. Yeah. Yeah, that is my understanding of samsara. Okay, here, uh, it precept one day or more, you hold it like that, then it's called the foundation to the path of liberation. The meaning is, the Buddha found that a lay practitioner cannot easily do uh, responsible the Dhamma, bring into very far, generation by generation uh, uh, for the benefits of the world. So he's especially thinking about need to train some professional uh, mankind or heaven beings mankind in order he can uh, uh, protect the Dhamma, he can uh, have the service for this Dhamma uh, uh, remain active in the world. So he start to organize Sangha. So for all these organized Sangha member, so it's easy for him to pass all this teaching. Why? Do you know why? Anybody know why he just thinking like that? Because uh, even though your own language, uh, your own blood of, uh, of the, your son, daughter, it's not always smart or quality like you. So uh, the one who really know the Dhamma is a uh, good qualities that are uh, born with, uh, connected to the Dhamma, you need to choose it from. It's not from your family. Yeah, family is the only uh, uh, trans, uh, trans, tr transit, is it? Transmit. 
yeah, transmit your 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 physical self, not transit your mental self. Mental self have more to go. Uh, that's why that uh, in when you come to the Sangha, it's a, a no class, a no, no no family language, uh, that, and then uh, no nation, no color. It's uh, us the quality. Man, woman, come in equal right. Uh, this is uh, something that I feel more proud when Indian uh, uh, th- 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 civilization they create that come to the Buddha. The Buddha really the reformer. You know, he have a more right back for the uh, uh, female who come into study, who come and training and practice, who can keep half of the part that are responsible of the teaching carry on generation to generation. is woman. But after the Buddha and his culture, Buddhism uh, disappear from Indian Indian woman right become back to his Brahman culture. Even though woman's life is nothing. Yeah, you need a husband, you need to have a lot of cash, isn't it? Or or material support in order you you find a right Husband, you know, if the husband don't like you, he burn you. Some stream still carry on until now, isn't it? I I read some news like that. I don't know true or not. Yeah. So it just you see how extreme the culture sometimes just a people uh, 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 ignorant, you know, foolish doing that. Here is uh, some something that. Uh, when the novice come into being, novice is someone that uh, very diligent to seize his uh, 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 three poison, uh, greed, hatred, and ignorance. We call that novice. So novice have a name, name called Qing Xi Nan or Qing Xi Nu. Means uh, he is. Uh, very diligent and right effort to seize his great hatred and ignorance, come to the order. We call no fish. So if he, he is not looking for the, to, to deal with this uh, tree poison in order to have the non-hatred, non, non-greed, and non-delusion uh, in, in, in the liberation, so he don't have to come to the order. He become a lay practitioner. It's okay. So come to here as a novice, then he is uh, giving an, an order to serve the community, to learn all the uh, skill, you know, how to, uh, uh, to take care of the Sangha, means here. We go to a little bit further, talk about the uh, Piku, Piku and Pikuni. Yeah. Piku and Pikuni means the, uh, after 20 years old, uh, you can have uh, like Piku. It's like after 16, we give him a party, isn't it? In, in the in, in the uh, American culture, is it fifteen or sixteen? Huh? 16. Yeah, sixteen up the party. Then uh, the yes, yes. The father need to lower down himself to become friend to to your son and daughter, isn't it? So the fa- father he is uh, become uh, adult. Yeah. So in Buddhism, after twenty, you become adult. 
you come to the Sangha and then you, you, you can take responsible. If you get, uh, learn everything from the Sangha, then you can travel alone. A novice cannot travel alone. You need to have a monk or, or the bhikkhu beside you. You have not finished your learning, not get degree yet. You so still need to follow the, the, the elder in order to learn more. When you become a, a bhikkhu, it means you already learn many things. Like what I say, how to get meeting. We call that jimo. How to get meeting in the Sangha. They have a lot of uh, principle about meeting. And then second, how to confess. Doing confess confession ceremony. Yeah. How to order. the new member come into the Sangha. How to keep teaching and guide practice to the followers. Yeah, and we still have uh, all that role, we call that uh, you need how this big uh, 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 role, his, uh, uh, what we call that uh, precept, have a lot of detail into make himself that uh, not easy to make big problem. So they have a lot of role. So you need to recite every month in order you can learn more. And then the, the uh, uh, new member come in, the elder member will teach you, explain to you, and guide you, learn all this uh, in order you know what is going on. And then we still have a lot of things going on, like uh, the, the rain, rain season, how to come into the rain season retreat. After rain season, we have the Kadina Day, how to celebrate the Kadina Day and, and, and give a message after the retreat. That is what needs to be known in order you become the elder in the Sangha. So that is the call, the bridge connected to the soul of Nibbana. Means uh, when you become a bhikkhu, that is uh, responsible. You really know this goal, and then all this kind of responsible is pointing to the goal and guiding people come to this goal. Know the path and guide it, come to the order. There's a lot of uh, detail I can give it right here because uh, some is uh, not according to the lay. Uh, uh, need to, do, to, to be known, like some uh, message is a little bit deep in what we call that uh, uh, the, the, the order in the monasticism. Just uh, give briefly, that is what we need to know. And then something that uh, like I want to say is become people is uh, some uh, uh, action is, uh, cannot be uh, involved. Like uh, you cannot become politician. Uh, involved in the politics, you cannot uh, involve in the arms militarily. Yeah, because a uh, pico is someone that. Uh, keep precept to someone, no killing. A lay Buddhist is hold the first precept as no killing. The monk also follow this, but he is a hold the first precept of no sexual life. So here is, uh, he, he is cannot doing this uh, like uh, if you want to make an example, 
Oh, you didn't have girlfriend? Yeah, I, I got a friend. Let you have to uh, introduce to you. Let you have girlfriend. Or you have boyfriend. Uh, the, you don't have boyfriend. Oh, I have friend. Come meet each other. Uh, introduce you. Become boyfriend. Monastic never do that. This is troublesome. Especially in this country, we open, we open ourselves in the monastery, let people learn how to, how to get the mind upright, you know. You, you know that is the burning inside. They just, uh, the fire is out from your senses, touching to something and burn it there. Don't think that don't have effect. So we, we come to the monastery, learn, learn what? Learn how to be mindful, how to guard your senses though. Yeah. But in the long these 23 years, I see many things happen is even though a lot of teaching is very good, you know, they're happy to learn, but sometimes they just want to come here and meet his girlfriend and boyfriend. And once he get boyfriend or girlfriend, then he left. Have, 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 have an example like that. Once they, then he broke down, broke apart, then you come back again. Like, <laughs> this is what I see. Life is not easy to out of the sam, samsara, out of the circle. His habitual pattern is very strong, you know. That, that, that is what I saw, you know. So, some, uh, uh, this worry feeling, worry of uh, concern is very strong in the mind. So that is what I, I learned that uh, precept is very difficult to follow and put into practice. Especially more higher uh, require that kind of precept will bring you more higher into purifying. Make your quality is more higher into transform. Not many of us can see this benefit. If you can see this benefit, then the Buddha said it's like this. Uh, someone have a little dust in his eyes. He talked in that word. So it's not easy to bring, bring us, uh, even though we understand the teaching, but uh, compared to the Vinaya require, we are not pure in the right. Just what I want to say. Not pure in the right and don't, not make us ourselves in very simple city and uh, lao si, you know? honest simplicity and honest uh, so senses uh, uh, pressure uh, and unpressure is something that we know these two extreme but not easy to make up your decision hey we need to have more Stable mind state. We need to have more stable personality. That is not something we are have more profound into this value. But one thing I want to say: uh, precept and the teaching is fifty-fifty. Both of them is point to reducing greed and uh, that word anxiety or worry. Just two things need to go, greed and worry. If you have greed, hunger still there, then painful is follow up. This is uh, what the Buddha said. Uh, Vinaya is something that uh, for emancipation. Vinaya is something that uh, 
as a boat for liberation. Enough today, I am going to cover. And then uh, we back to Master Yin Shun saying, again, this is uh, for the Sangha. Um, so, the Vinaya talking in the first place, uh, Master Sun Yin saying, there's uh, all, a lot different of uh, precept we accept and become different uh, uh, level of the training. You require yourself, you put yourself into it. There is a uh, no, no, uh, uh, what we call that force. It's uh, all self-awakened, self-realization. So once you put it into that, uh, as higher you can put it into test or challenge yourself, as uh, harmony you can put it into this benefit to the world and the Sangha. And the secondly is the peace and happiness to yourself. As higher you can put it, once you get used to it, as less trouble as you put yourself into. This is called peace and happiness. And the, the third one is uh, purifying. As the, the life going on, if someone really need to go to meditation and get more, more uh, uh, deeper experience into meditation state of calmness and peace, then you better concern about the Vinaya. Like what I want to say is, you know, morning breakfast, afternoon, uh, uh, what, lunch time, dinner lunch time, and oh uh, no no no, but uh, breakfast yeah yeah breakfast and then uh, noon noon time lunch, and evening dinner. I think a good Buddhist like me. I feel a little bit regret because I still work hard, so I eat evening, but I not eat more than three meals. Other than, other than this uh, proper times of eating, I call it improper time of eating. I don't uh, see things just uh, put into my mouth. And, and just uh, thinking about, oh, I have chocolate there, I take chocolate and eat, I don't do it that way. You need, once you need to eat something, it means uh, eat this thing for uh, 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 yeah, a nourishment or support the life so that the, the life can carry on, you know. But it's an improper time. Why improper time we eat? Because of this touching. You lost mindfulness. You lost judgment. Proper judge to yourself. If, if there is a... a low calorie, you almost fell, that's okay to take things like that, you know. If uh, not some good reason, please think about this. That's only you already fell. The mala take over the mind state. Okay. I, I mean a lot in here as a purification, just take the food and example, sleeping, you know, and uh, uh, lessening entertainment, a lot of things can apply to yourself. Then you will see how good or bad we are in the daily action that is a lot of things need to be holding the precept or take refuge to the precept. Otherwise, it don't protect. It just uh, 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 let the karma become more active into his uh, samsara pattern, not escape pattern. So here is something talk more about. Uh, once you get here, uh, if we become more printed, disciplined, then uh, people is uh, not in our side, not in the faith, they will see, oh, here, I see how to become good. You make them have faith. Yeah. Not have faith, you make them have faith. If they already have faith in the triple gem, it becomes more encouraged. I am then an example. 
Yeah, I'm not good like here right now. I still have a lot of space need to move on. But when I saw good monk, good monastic, good lay disciple, I've opened my mind like this. I never close my, my eyes. I was really one sharpening myself to touching it to his goodness. That part I need to have it into my life. See, that is how you encourage yourself uh, uh, by uh, touching to the Dhamma quality, touching to more higher uh, qualities of personality, try to share with that, try to be, uh, what we call that, more fun. More. I learn from them. Yep. Okay, that is called the, the uh, exterior to get people uh, not in faith or in faith, uh, more being uh, 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 encouraged. And then the, the, uh, uh, the fifth one is uh, what we call the inner realization. Huliari practice uh, uh, is starting from here. When the Buddha said, they have uh, three highest practices, sila, samadhi, and banya. If you don't have samadhi, it still can be liberated by sila and wisdom. If you have samadhi, you can be uh, liberated by samadhi and banya. If you have banya, don't have uh, sila, it's never said that is banya. If you have samadhi, you don't have sila, it never say that is a right samadhi. So in this three highest practice, sila is the foundation for the other two. Or either one, uh, when it uh, comes with the sila, it is a basic for moving on. That is called the inner realizations uh, uh, being covered. So last thing is the final goal. The teaching is the, uh, the teaching forever last uh, into the world. They need someone that will call their Brahma Jatliya. Brahma Jatliya means uh, the, uh, uh, who really follow the Vinaya and have very uh, uh, tight road to them, themselves, uh, discipline himself in order to become a fresh Dhamma into this life. This need to be still appear in the world in order the truth can appear in the world. So the truth is uh, life truth, is not the library truth. If the teaching only keep into the library, it can benefit into the awakening. The awakening need to be life energy. That is, uh, it means uh, when the Vinaya is still in the world, being accepted, then the Brahma Jaliya can carry on processing. If the Vinaya ceases in the world, then Brahma Jaliya will cease from the world then you can only see the library book there. Thank you. <laughs>